Hi there. This is Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, in this video, we will learn how to make transition animation by Smart Animation Function in Figma. Figma has this powerful prototyping tool called Smart Animation. And, this smart tool will automatically do some smart animation and transition, if you know how to use it. But before we get into it, we make videos regularly. If you want to see videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, and click the bell icon for notification. So, let's go to Figma. Okay, let's start with the round button transition. For that, you have to make a square box and pull the radius until it's a circle like this. Quickly add a plus icon here. Make the bit darker for better contrast. Nice! Now, we want it to be a full frame scaled rectangle. For that, we have to copy this circle, and paste it to our second frame. And, as it is actually a square, we will make it a full frame square. Also, remove the radius. Let's quickly add some elements here. Now, make a prototype of it. Click the prototype tab. And pull this dot to the second frame. Now, set on click, and navigate to under interaction properties and, under Animation Property, select Smart Animation. Initially let's set it to Linear. Make sure this is the starting page, by this blue square box. You can pull it to any frame you want. Let's see the output by clicking this Play button. It looks nice. Let's add a Back button into the second frame, real quick. I will put the same animation in here too. Let's check it again. It looks good. Now, let's try some other animations. Let's set it to ease in and out. And as you see it already looks a bit different. Now, let's try ease in and out back. And, the animation giving a punch, and looks great. You can also set a custom animation curve. It looks great. Now let's move the design. Let's make a button. I want here, a box slide up, when I click here. So, let's make that box, in this frame first. Now, push it down, until it is hidden into the frame. Not too much, cause it will go outside of the frame. As you can see, it is into the frame now. If it goes out, just pull it back from here. Now, as it is selected, hit Ctrl C and paste into the second frame. Now, place it properly and quickly add some elements here. I'm gonna copy this search button and make it a search box. It will be cool animation. Just like the previous prototype, I will add the same properties with Smart Animation. I will select the presets. Set this frame, the first frame. And, it looks great. Now, a button with a picture in it. Pick a box shape, set a picture in it. I am using the Pexels plugin here. You can use pictures from your device also. Add some text and elements. Now copy this into the second frame. And, make it full frame. Again add some text and elements. Done. Just like previously, set the prototype into Smart Animation. Don't worry about the animation properties I am using here. Play with your design. See, what looks better to you. By the way, you can set the starting frame here also. And, you will see this blue box will appear by the side of the frame. Let's see the final transition. Fantastic. Looks really good. So, 
So, there you go. What's else you want to know about Figma? Let me know in the comment section. And, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And, I will see you in the next video.